Hi guys, today I'm going to show you guys a nice little bait. It's a very smelly bait, an aerodynamic bait, and it's going to be a, a bait that's on the inside is going to be full of blood and flavor and wrapped around the chocker. So I personally use this bait for edible fish and non-edible fish. It works very well and I'm going to make this specific bait with sardine today and chocker wrapped around a little dingle. Right, so to start off this bait, you're first going to clean your chocker. After cleaning your chocker, you want to cut two round discs of chocker. That's the same diameter as your dingle angle. So I want to cut two of them so they're going to sort of wrap the dingle nicely. The same sort of size as that and just keep them one side. Alright, so the next step is to grab a chocker hammer and just beat these little round pieces of chocker. Alright, so that chocker's hit with a chocker hammer. The next step, I grab my sardine and I remove the gills and the guts. That's what I'm gonna use in this bait. I use the gills and the guts, a lot of blood, a lot of flavor in there. So I'm just gonna cut the head off and split it open. And I wanna take all the guts out of this sardine. Get that one side. I'll keep the body for another bait. Open the gill plates and break out the gills. So you've got the guts and the gills. I'm going to use two sardines. Do the same with another sardine. That's put it one side. All right, it's a bit of a messy bait, but that's all purpose. So we've got the guts and the gills, a little dingle there, and we want to just soften this up a bit to be able to shape it around the dingle. So I'm going to take my chock hammer and just soften up the gills a little bit. And we do the same with the guts. Get all those flavors out. All right, so we've got this nice, smelly, flavored guts and gill mess here. And then what we want to do is grab our dingle and start building all this guts and gills around the dingle. Try and keep it nice and round because we want to keep it round shape in our bait. So I'm going to grab first bunch of gills here. Just cotton that on. Take the other gills on the other side. That on. As you can see, it's a very messy and smelly bait but that's what makes it so efficient, is all the smell in this bait. Shape with your fingers, and now I'm gonna take the guts, and so just put that on, and try and shape it as I cotton it on. Same on the other side. All 
All right, so you can see the sort of roundy shape starting to develop. We've got all our gills and cuts on there. And now we're gonna take our chocker and put that around it to seal all those flavors in. Wrap that on. Turn around, take the other piece of chocker and put it on the other side. All right, so you can see those, those juices just running out of this bait. It's, it's a very messy, smelly bait. But that's exactly what we want. End it off with a half edge or two. Grab a hook, look it through the top of the dingle. There we go. That's our little brown sardine guts and belly bait wrapped with chocker. It's aerodynamic, has a lot of flavor and smell in this bait. You're gonna clip your sink onto that and you throw it very far. And if you squeeze it, you'll see all the flavors coming out of there. And that's gonna release slowly in the water and attract the fish. All right guys, so that's our bait done. Very effective, very smelly bait that'll work for edibles and non-edibles.